today I'm going to talk about a very important concept in quality, which is called as cost of quality. As we know, right, um, everyone strives to create a good quality product, service or a result. Even from a point of view of a product developer and from the point of view of a product consumer, everyone wants a good quality product at the end of the day. And um, obviously, when we are trying to build in a good quality product, things are not going to be cheap, right? There's always a cost which we are going to incur on producing a good quality product. So the definition of cost of quality is that the money which is spent by an enterprise or an organization in ensuring that whatever product we are building or whatever service we are creating is a good quality product, service or for that matter a result. So it's the total money which an organization spends on quality management activities. Now if you were to divide this cost of quality further or break down it further, there are two essential elements of cost of quality which comes in. One is cost of good quality, something which will um, we will incur and it will result in a good quality deliverable. And this is what is called as the cost of conformance, right? And again, there are two parts to it, the prevention cost and an appraisal cost, which we will talk about it a little later. And then we have cost of poor quality, which is called as an, what we call it as a cost of non-conformance. So this is what an internal failure cost and an external failure cost. Now let us try to understand what is this cost of good quality and cost of poor quality with an example so that um, we all can get these concepts clear. So let me take an ice cream manufacturing unit. And as we know, right, um, when we are um, actually talking about an ice cream manufacturing unit, the quality of ice cream to a great extent depends on whether it is able to stay itself frozen in diverse climatic conditions. So if I take an example of an ice cream manufacturing unit, what will be the cost of good quality? The definition of cost of good quality or cost of conformance is money spent during the project to avoid failure. So we are preventing the defect from getting injected into the system. Thereby, the final quality of the product will be a good quality product which will be there. So if I take this ice cream manufacturing unit, the cost of prevention or the prevention cost will predominantly be any training which I'm going to provide to employees who are going to work. Basic hygiene investment, for example, wearing gloves when I'm in a factory, right? Or making sure that the milk is boiled or pasteurized before it can be consumed for manufacturing ice cream. Rather than using a raw milk, it has to go through a pasteurization process. Or giving the right set of tools and equipment to my team members. Time to do it right. There has to be a proper process set in by the time the ice cream would be created right so what is that correct time what time we should start preparing the ice cream so all these are your prevention cost under cost of good quality money spent to avoid or prevent a defect from getting injected into the system so then what is an appraisal cost in cost of conformance the appraisal cost is when the deliverable is ready you're actually going to check the quality of the deliverable you're going to apply quality assurance activities like verification, validation, you're going to do some process checks, you're going to do some sampling, you're going to do an inspection and money spent on that would come in as a part of your appraisal cost what is there. So two costs under cost of conformance, prevention cost and an appraisal cost. As far as appraisal cost is concerned, in ice cream manufacturing unit, the appraisal cost could be related to whether the um, milk which we have used is of a good quality or not. We are doing, going to do a sample check on the milk quality. We might also want to do a test on, um, I would say, the frozen index of the ice cream, whether the ice cream is really frozen when it comes out of the assembly line or not, or whether the packaging has been done properly or not, right? Whether the packages are foolproof or is there any puncture in the package, thereby resulting in loss of, um, I would say, milk solids from the ice cream. So all these costs will be the cost of um, or the appraisal cost, which is a part of your good quality cost, what is there. So now let us um, go to the other side of the equation, which is cost of poor quality or cost of non-conformance. Again, we'll take an example of an ice cream, the same example. So cost of non-conformance is basically that because um, you did not um, apply those checks and balances, the product, um, though it was uh, passed um, as a part of good quality, 
it is now failing because of certain inherent characteristics or basically patterns which are there so this is nothing but the money spent during and after the project due to failures so now the defect has already crept in into the system and one of the important costs in this is the internal failure cost so what can be an example of an internal failure cost let us say I produce let us say 50 cartons of ice cream packet and i store it in a warehouse which has got a refrigerated unit now unfortunately during the day the refrigeration unit fails and out of those 50 cartons let us say 20 of my cartons get damaged or they become leaky and a, a milk solid comes out of it now and now that entire piece of 20 cartons is a waste i cannot take it to the market and sell it to the consumer even out of the remaining 30 there might be some elements um, which could um, require a rework around it right maybe the packaging would have loosened I might have to tape it back or I might have to make sure that again um, when the freezing compartment um, starts operating these 30 packets are protected well enough so that they can be shipped to the customer. So that is what we call as an internal failure cost usually resulting in a rework or basically a waste. Now the next one is one of the most expensive defect you can land up with. It is basically external failure cost. External failure cost is when people like you and me go out and buy an ice cream only to realize that a packet is puffed or basically the cup is leaking, right? Or the ice cream is not um, as frozen as we would like to have. And believe me, this is one of the most expensive cost what you can incur. Why? Not because of a defect or, or a repair what is there. It is because, be, uh, yes, you can always replace the product, you can have a warranty clauses, you can have a product recall and replacement which could happen. But one of the important costs which you will incur here is a reputational loss. One bad review about your product is going to put off another 100 customers out of your reach. So this is a cost which we should always make sure that it should be minimal in our product. The external failure cost. Try to minimize this, try to incur the maximum cost in prevention cost, appraisal cost and internal failure cost so that there are lesser number of defects which get leaked when the product goes into the hands of the customer. So I hope this cost of quality gave you a fair amount of glimpse as to what is a good quality cost, what is a poor quality cost and uh, this will definitely help you next time when you're in a situation in your real time project where you are analyzing whether it is worth investing efforts into quality management activities or not. So that's it I had for the time being. Uh, this is Ashutosh Bhattodeka signing off for the moment. Do like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel and do await more such videos in this series. Thank you and have a great day ahead.